Hello YouTube, what's up? My name is the Cool Guy One One. Today I welcome you guys back to Minecraft Extreme Hardcore Minecraft. Today, um, I just wanted to update you guys on a little bit of a ch change I made. I swapped out the uh, chests for bigger, better chests. It, they, um, these are, I don't even know what these chests are called, but, um, I basically separated these two are ores, these two are everything else. Um, here's the gems, crystals, and, those should not be in there. The gems and crystals and, uh, mm, yeah, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. And then here is the dusts and ingots. And I guess these the diamonds should go in there. Cool. So, that's, that's how this is going. And notice I have a huge surplus of ores. Well, not huge, but um, I have some ores that I'd like to smelt. Um, so, let's go over here. As you can see, I put a hopper on top of the pulverizer. Um, which means that, it's going, that I can put all of this stuff in here. And it's going to start putting it into the here because I have the, out, the in, in input set on the top block. And then this guy's going to wor start working. And the chests are presents because it is uh, Christmas Eve tonight. And I'm guessing all of my engines are out of coal, which they are in fact. So, let's go fill them up with coal. Let's uh, take this much and split it four ways. Okay. 14. 14. 14. And 15. Just because yellow. So they, uh, this guy should start getting power. I actually don't remember if I... I'm pretty sure I crafted this off camera. So... Huh, here we go, guys. We, we have a hardened energy cell. It wasn't too hard to make. Um, it required... A little bit of invar, but I think that was long and electrum, but I got that sorted out. So now we have a little uh, buffer in between, uh, a little buffer, um, so that the basically the purpose of this guy is when when, when uh, before when we had the engines hooked directly up to the machines, when the machines were running, the engines were running, but when the machines when the machines were not running and their internal buffers right here were full. The, the engines were still running, but the power was just being wasted because it, it wasn't going into the internal buffers of these machines. So basically, by having this uh, energy cell as a midway point, a halfway point between the two, between the engines and the machines, we now can store om per almost all of that energy that is coming, um, that, that is um, being wasted once the machines are full and done. So, as you can see guys, I have one hit left. Uh, bottom left corner, I have one hit left, one block break left on my pick, and my sword's doing all right, and my shovels and axe is doing all right, but I want to get started on a mod that I usually like to get started on pretty early in, as a matter of fact, I mean, right, right around this, this time, called Tinker's Construct. It's a complicated sounding, <clears throat> the name is complicated sounding, but this mod is all about making tools, custom made tools, where you make all the pieces and you put them together. It's so cool, like, like, really so cool. So, the first thing we're going to need to get started with this is, we're going to need the book, which is, um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, this is our, like, building blocks, not, not a bucket. Um, building items, just anything that you can build with. Um, this is miscellaneous junk. So the book should be in here. There we go. So, um, when you got, once you guys have, uh, this should go. Once you guys have, um, oh, these not get, oh. Alright, so once you guys have Tinker's Construct installed, you create a new world, and you spawn with this book. You don't have to make it. Uh, you can make it actually. Uh, just paper and a blank pattern, which is just some s two sticks and some uh, wood planks. So right click with the book in your hand, read it. Um, as you can see, this is the first thing we're gonna craft. So we need two sticks and two planks, which is honestly pretty easy. Like, 
All right, so that looks good. I mean, we're we're uh, we're gonna need this eventually, so we're we're gonna need a lot of these eventually. So why not just? Well, this is a little much. Why not just um, make a lot, right? Uh, there we go. Twelve. That, that's a start, I guess. So <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna need to craft is a stencil table, a part crafter. Pattern chest and a tool station. They sound complicated, but I mean, no, <laughs> they really are not. So we're gonna need a crafting table, a chest. Um, well, so we can just do this. So crafting table, boom. And uh, as soon as you craft any of these four items, you get the second book, which we'll look at in a second. Part builder. We need a piece of wood. chest and wooden plank which we definitely don't have all right so these are f um I, mm, hmm i think i'm gonna dig out a new room for this so dang it should i dig out a new room or do we think we can fit it here or something i, I, I guess i could fit these guys here so we're gonna need uh, tool station you're going to want at the end, right? Yep, that's the guy that we want at the end. We need our stencil table with the pattern chest next to it. So the uh, stencil table can... That's not at all the one that I wanted. So it should be... The part The part builder can... Watch. So um, without the pattern chest sitting next to it, it just has this. Uh, with the pattern chest sitting adjacent to it, it can access the pattern chest's inventory. So we can put... Pretty sure we can put this stuff in here, right? Nope. All right, so we'll just put this in here for now. Don't worry, guys. I definitely will begin. Uh, wait. This is not what it goes into. <laughs> we have uh this table, which these go into. So I definitely will be getting into all of this as soon as we're done crafting. And actually, that that should be it. Um, you, you know what I want to make? Do we have? Ooh, I want to see if we have this one mod. Um, no, we don't. Okay. I wanted to make a bookshelf. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to make a... Alright, so, never mind. Uh, let's put these guys back. Oh, actually, we should probably keep this guy. Alright, so, let's look at what these guys do. So this, uh, this is, it's basically a line, like, 1 to 10. Like, steps 1 to step 10, basically. Um, the first step is your stencil table where you pick out your different patterns then you go over here put these in the chest if you want and then you put those patterns here and put whatever material you want to make out of them in here and you take them out of here then you put all those parts together to make any of these tools they see here don't worry I'm about to do I'm about to do that so um sorry about that guys uh, looks like we had a bit of a crash there so all of our t stuff is still here so that's good so I was making uh, I was taking sand, gravel, and clay. Which we act we we actually have we have, we have plenty of clay. Probably uh, we definitely have plenty of uh, sand because we can pulverize. <coughs> I'm gonna put some cobblestone in here. So if you put cobblestone in a pulverizer, it makes. Mm, not, not sure what it makes, but cobble in a pulverizer, then smelter, uh, then smelt it. It makes sand. <laughs> That's what I tell you. So, the only thing we need more of is gravel. And I'm pretty sure we can make gravel somehow. Oh! Oh! Okay, so we have a 10% chance of doing the, with that. And that's it. So, let's start making what we can. Why did I just take cobblestone? Out? Alright, so we do get... Oh! Mm. Probably, still probably not going to be enough, but. Because roughly the same amount. <laughs> roughly. Alright. Cool. So, um, what is this grout for? Grout is to make a smeltery. And that's for more... In, uh, advanced tools and stuff, which I'm gonna start making. 
Because I am sick and tired of making normal pickaxes and swords and stuff. So, how's stuff going over here? So, you're pulverizing. Alright, so it's pulverizing the stuff now. So, let's watch it for a second. It only has a 10% chance of gravel, so I'm probably gonna have to. You know what? I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, there's gravel right here somewhere, right? And that's my pickaxe. Well, there's definitely some over here, I think. Yep, right here. So this is, um, j just, just to let you guys know, this cave was entirely, completely filled with ores. As you can see, I mined it all out, so. Lots of work. So we have plenty of, I'm surprised. This is like the first, um, see, this is the first let's play that I've done where I actually am good. Like I actually have a, you know, okay amount of supplies for grab. I always struggle with grab supplies and stuff. And look, there's iron without a pickaxe. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna finish clearing this stuff out. You guys don't have to watch me on camera. So I'm gonna um, finish clearing this out and I will be back in just a second, guys. Be right back. All right, so um, a stack, a little over a stack and a half. Nice, nice, and nice. So this should be all the gravel, all the gravel that we need. To be honest, that really should be. Oh, uh, but trust me, guys, we we do need a lot. And to make a nice big smeltery, we're gonna need probably even more than what we have. But that's gonna wait. That that definitely can wait. So let's um put some of our stuff away. Cool. So we can start building this stuff. Boom. Oh. Boom. All right. So cool. Um. So we're gonna need to make one of these guys. So let's just uh glass, please. Okay, so let's just start getting all the stuff that we need. So uh, there definitely is a book that you get when, once you craft one of these things. Yep, there we go. I just got a book. Um, so mighty smelting. It def it tells you all the stuff that you need. You need one casting uh, blah, 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 for the basic smeltery. I kind of already know what to what I need because I've done this many times. So I'm gonna. Um, one's better looking. Kind of like this one. So I'm going to make... Ooh, I'm out of glass. Alright guys, sorry about that. I seem to be crashing a lot today, so I'm going to end off this episode here. But I'm really quickly, I'm just going to make a basic pickaxe so that I can, for me to use until I get the smeltery up and running. So I'm going to go into my stencil table. Remember to have blank patterns in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I know for a fact that if we go in here... Click on the pickaxe. We need a pickaxe head, a tool binding, and a handle. So let's go back in here. This is a tool rod, the hand, the handle. We need a pickaxe head, which is this, and we need a tool binding, which is this. Boom. That's all you gotta do. You can put these in here. Now I'm gonna make my pickaxe out of iron. So I'm gonna put the minerals here, the item here. Um, right. Oh, that's right. So I'm going to make it out of stone. <laughs> you can't make it out of iron. So just put a piece of stone there. And as you can see, when you mouse over the tool rod pattern, it says the material cost is 0 0.5. That means it costs half of a cobblestone block to make a stone tool rod. So we're going to get half of a, half of a uh, cobblestone block back. Same thing with the tool binding pattern. But now I can use the half piece of cobblestone that I got from the tool rod. But the head is going to cost... One more. And we definitely can't do that. Because you can't. Because it's just logical. Alright. So now if we go in here, click on the pickaxe. We put this right here. Boom. Um, that cool uh, pick one. That lovely sound. And now we have a stone pick, an entirely stone pickaxe. 
and it mines pretty slow, to be honest. But let's uh, sleep through the night. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I'm sorry if it's a little short, but um, I've been cr I've having a crashing problem, so I'm gonna solve it. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, I'm gonna